In this play, a character interrupts a professor's rant about local Devonian fossils. A male boy in this play, who claims that his knee knows when it's going to rain, eventually dies after going to war. A couple in this play get engaged a year after entering Morgan's drugstore to get ice cream sodas. A woman in this play asks if any human beings ever realize life while they live it, after encountering the milkman Howie Newsom and the suicidal choir director Simon Stinson. That woman asks to revisit her 12th birthday in Grover's Corners with the stage manager in this play. For 10 points, name this play about the life of George Gibbs and Emily Webb, written by Thornton Wilder. And the answer is Our Town. Near the end of this play, three male characters unconsciously raise their glasses at the same time. Characters in this play cover up the family member's drinking by adding water to a decanter of whiskey. The patriarch of a family in this play is an actor famous for only one role, whose wife showed promise as a pianist and once lived in a Catholic convent. That character from this play believes her son purposefully infected Eugene with measles. In this play, Edmund is diagnosed with tuberculosis and his mother Mary is addicted to morphine. For 10 points, name this play about the Tyrone family a late work by Eugene O'Neill. And the answer is Long Day's Journey Into Night. A character in this work tells her balding husband to give your mommy a big sloppy kiss. This work begins with that character exclaiming, what a dump. Another character tells the story of a boy who crashes his car when he swerves to avoid a porcupine. In this play, a historian gives a summary of his second novel, which reveals the truth of a hysterical pregnancy. In the Walpurgis Noct act of this play, characters play games such as Get the Guests and Hump the Hostess. This play ends with a woman replying, I am, I am, to the title question. For 10 points, name this play about guests Nick and Honey and the terrible party hosts George and Martha by Edward Albee. And the answer is Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? This play's stage directions describe ambient music from a nearby club as a blue piano. A character in this play attempts to hide her age by blocking out the light from a paper lantern. That character dances to the Varsoviana after confronting her husband Alan Gray about his homosexual affair. In this play, a game of poker is interrupted when Mitch's friend throws a radio out of a window. This play ends after a character admits that she has always depended on the kindness of strangers as she is taken to a mental hospital. For 10 points, name this play about Blanche's stay in Stella and Stanley Kowalski's home, written by Tennessee Williams. And the answer is A Streetcar Named Desire. A character in this play considers getting an abortion to protect the part of her family that's already living, but changes her mind when she moves into a new home. Another character in this play criticizes Beneath's decision to mutilate her hair by straightening it. In this play, Walter's plans to invest in a liquor store are foiled when Willie steals $10,000 worth of life insurance money. The central family in this play rejects Carl Lindler's offer to buy back their house in Clyburn Park. The black, younger family's integration into a white neighborhood in Chicago is chronicled in, for 10 points, What Play by Lorraine Hansberry. And the answer is A Raisin in the Sun. After complaining about a man who preached nothing but golden candlesticks, a character in this play struggles to remember the Ten Commandments. A girl in this pr play pretends to be frightened by a yellow bird while in court, and Mary Warren gifts a poppet to Elizabeth later found to have a needle in it. 
Giles Corey dies in this play, crying for more weight as he is crushed with rocks. Abigail Williams instigates the main events of this play after accusing this slave, Tituba, of helping her and others to cavort with the devil. For 10 points, name this Arthur Miller play in which John Proctor fights against the Salem Witch Hunt. And the answer is The Crucible. In this play, a character swears to stay in this city and beat this racket before his mother reveals that she finished paying off her mortgage. A waiter in this play is asked for directions to a seed store by a man who is later seen madly planting those seeds in his front yard. That man is told that the jungle is dark but full of diamonds by a hallucination of his brother Ben. In this play, a character flunks math after he discovers that his father is having an affair with the woman. This play's title character kills himself in a car crash in order to get life insurance money for his son Biff. For 10 points, name this Arthur Miller play about the demise of Willie Loman. And the answer is Death of a Salesman. One character in this novel carries on an affair with a Polynesian man named Avahenna. A brother and sister named Peter and Hazel become engaged to two of the central characters, though both engagements are broken. One character's brother Dave ran off with an Indian girl named Marie Brantome. That union produced Adam Brant, who has an affair with Christine, who kills Ezra. For 10 points, name this play in which Oren commits suicide at the behest of Lavinia, a work about the Manons that is a retelling of the Orestia by Eugene O'Neill. And the answer is Morning Becomes Electra. One character in this play shouts, Go then, go to the moon, you selfish dreamer after earlier remembering a past obsession with Jonquils. Another character in this play explains, Nowadays the world is lit by lightning, and works at a shoe warehouse but is nicknamed Shakespeare. Yet another character in this play skips typing classes to wander through the zoo. That character in this play, who used to be called Blue Roses, is heartbroken when her high school crush Jim admits he is engaged after breaking a miniature unicorn, one of the title collection of figurines. For 10 points, name this play about Tom, Amanda, and Laura Wingfield, a work by Tennessee Williams. And the answer is The Glass Menagerie. One character in this play is mocked for not knowing which side of a cow has horns and tries to play the song The Sunshine of Paradise Alley. Another is the son of a wealthy bucket manufacturer named Bill Oban. This play's three female characters include Margie and Pearl, who call themselves tarts rather than whores. The proprietor of this play's indoor setting hasn't left it for 20 years since his wife Bess's death. Don Parrott finds an ex-anarchist named Larry in this play, whose intoxicated cast talks with a salesman named Hickey about their pipe dreams. For 10 points, name this play about the deadbeats at Harry Hope's Bar by Eugene O'Neill. And the answer is The Iceman Cometh. A character in this work recalls how the Cotton Carnival Queen was spat at in the face by a drunk man. This play opens with a character complaining that she was hit by a hot buttered biscuit, and just the night before, that character's husband had broken his ankle while jumping hurdles at his old high school track. Another character from this play is compelled to drink until he hears a click, and that character attributes his drinking to the world's mendacity. After the title character becomes pregnant, Gooper and May's plans to inherit the money of the dying Big Daddy Pollitt are ruined. For 10 points, name this play about a Southern family's gathering at their estate by Tennessee Williams. And the answer is Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. 
one character in this play yearns to return to her childhood home of Lionet. Addie and Bertie are both rejected when they try to accompany Alexandra on her trip to Baltimore to transport a dying man treated at John Hopkins University after the businessman William Marshall announces his intention to invest in a cotton gin. The protagonist of this play coerces her husband Horace into having a fatal heart attack after he claims he will not prosecute her brothers for stealing $88,000 in bonds. For 10 points, name this 1939 play about Regina Giddens' power struggles with Oscar and Ben Hubbard by Lillian Hellman. And the answer is The Little Foxes.